and welcome to another episode of Ask Tom. And today I've got one of my newer students. Her name is Reba, and let's find out what she wants to ask. Are there other character voices other than the falsetto? Reba is a uh, new student. She's just getting involved. She loves ventriloquism. I mean, she's basically contacted me, I think, almost after every lesson uh, to ask more questions. And uh, Reba, yeah, there are other voices other than falsetto. Uh, You're going to learn about those as you go. Now, I usually recommend a falsetto voice kind of to start because a falsetto is more of a head voice. And with ventriloquism, you're trying to project the airflow through your nose and uh, through your mouth. And that head voice is going to carry further. And so, you know, a falsetto or a a head voice is just going to sound better when you're doing it for your audience. But there are guttural voices. Uh, You can use your own voice if you layer it with accents and uh, different timings. And you're you're going to learn more about that. Now, I know you were asking, uh, because one of the questions you had uh, earlier this week, as a matter of fact, was one about uh, should you maybe check out Liz Von Segen's uh, Character Voices uh, Creation DVD. Uh, you found out about my own vocal, vocal versatility, which I didn't mention to you because I didn't want to step on, you know, anything that you would do with Liz. Uh, and then Bob Rumba just came out with a uh, Character Voices um, DVD that was shot during his uh, lecture at the Ben Haven Convention. Uh, Pat Fraley's got some great DVDs or CDs, I think, which are audios, which talk about, uh, you know, voice creation. So, yeah, there are plenty of different voices that you can create, but you've got to learn how and it's just going to take you time now I know in my course I recommend that you kind of come up with a character voice and then you start practicing in that voice I recommended that because that's what I did when I started and it allowed me to have better lip control although honestly um, at the beginning I had lousy lip control I got on stage and I recorded my videos and I was like holy moly what the heck was I doing but if you practice not moving your lips in a character voice, it kind of makes it easier down the road, at least it did for me. But that doesn't mean that's how you have to learn. If you're having trouble coming up with a voice, create something, work on it, listen to it, videotape it or audio record it, and then listen back to it over and over as you're talking back and forth between the puppet and yourself, because that's going to do a couple things. First of all, it's going to help you switch your voices quicker. So you'll be able to go back and forth and sound more like a believable conversation. But, you know, it also will give you an idea of if the voice is different enough. And if it's not, play with it. But, yeah, there are definitely more voices than just the falsetto. And you'll learn more about those as you progress in the art. So, again, whether you choose uh, Liz's uh, CD or DVD, I think it is, uh, whether you choose uh, the new Bob Rumba DVD that's put out by Lee Cornell, whether you choose the Pat Fraley CDs, or whether you take my own ver- vocal versatility, which is available here on Learn Ventriloquism or over on the Mayher website. Hey, study this stuff because the more you know about it the better ventriloquist you're going to be thanks so much for asking your question and i'll see you soon hey if you want to ask me a question head on over to the website right beneath the video is going to be an app where all you got to do is press a button if you're on a computer or laptop leave me a question and who knows maybe i'll answer your question in an upcoming video thanks so much for watching today and i'll see you on the next ask tom